Motion Blur, Motion Blur in CopCut PC. That's the tutorial for today. Make sure you watch this until the very end because I'm going to show you step by step. It's super simple. And um, even if you are, this is dedicated for beginners, completely beginners. And uh, also, if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe for daily tutorials. And now let's jump right into the video. So, what you have to do here. Now here I have a video, an image with a fish, but I'll use the motion blur for the a different video. So one second to import a different video. And here I have this video with the dog grab it, drag it onto the timeline. And now we should have this dog here. To add a motion blur effect, what you have to do is to go in the effects panel or the effect page here. Click on it and then here we have uh, Lens, Trending, Star, we have a bunch of different effects that you can try, they're pretty cool. But what we want is the motion uh, effect, so to achieve or to get that effect, what you have to do is pretty simple, you have to click on these tab that we have here there are like multiple tabs with effects but the one that we want is motion effect so and I'll simply just grab the motion uh, blur effect and it is right here in lens and then here you should see the effect look motion blur grab it and drag it onto your video and here you should have this effect now you see dog and then the dog you have the motion blur but this effect is not really uh, my opinion is not very useful or practical or is the right effect for this type of video usually when there is a lot of uh, motion when there's a lot of action this effect is pretty good but otherwise I don't think there's a need to use this effect when you just use you, you have a dog and he's just walking you know but yeah uh, that's how you add the effect. Make sure you shrink or to or you increase the um, make this effect last longer. But yeah, that's pretty much it. How you add this effect? Make sure you go lens and motion blur, and then just grab the effect and drag it onto your video above your video. And yeah, you can add multiple motion, motion, motion blur effects, as many as you want, Control c Control v And obviously the more you add, the more your effect will shrink, will increase its shrink. So yeah, if you, had, if you had add more, the effect as you can see now is very powerful. Now you can also always play with some cool effects here. If you clicked on the video, and you go to cut out you can also add auto cut out and then is like you have the video here you see and it's only the dog but you can import a video again it's a pretty cool effect now and you see here dog here you have the dog again but there's two but you can add this effect here and now you have the dog you have this but you can simply you can simply have the dog here and now you have kind of like two dogs but uh, one is motion and the other one is not you know but you need to add this around here okay I so I hope you learned something guys thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe for more videos more for, for more tutorials